Hey guys, this is Seraph Revan. I'm going to show you how you can protect your computer from viruses and adware for free. So you don't have to shell out a couple hundred of dollars just so you can buy Norton Antivirus or McAfee. They both suck, by the way. Um, they both have their programs that are really good, but I'll show you those later. The first program I'm going to show you is called Avira Antivir. Their website is www.free-av.com, and you get there. The site's really red. Um, their download link's right, ar right along the top here, so you can click that. Hold on, my friend is messaging me. Sorry about that, but there's a free version and there's a paid version of Avira Antivir. I should just ignore this. But okay, never mind. He seems like he's gonna leave me alone. Okay, so there's a free version and there's a paid version. Um, get the free version; it's just as good. But uh, one of the things about Avira Antivir is that every time you, what the? F okay. Okay, um, one of the things about Vera Antivir is that, uh, every time you log on to Windows, it'll run its auto-update utility. Um, it'll pop up in the upper right corner and go to Avira's database to try and see if there are any new virus definitions. And, uh, and, uh, it's, it's sort of a double-edged sword. Uh, it's good because it'll constantly be updated. But it's also bad because it'll annoy the crap out of you. So that's something to think about. But when you install it, it'll put a little... My friend keeps messaging me. Anyways, it'll put a little red umbrella icon in the lower right. It'll be open when it's active, and it'll be closed when it's inactive. But there's some settings you can play around with like which files to go away got which files to um scan and where in your computer it should scan but that's a vera yes yeah, i'm really sorry the second program is called clamwin and this is an open source antivirus but I know some of you right now are moaning, saying, Oh, open source. I don't want open source programs on my computer. How, how, how can I trust them? It's just some random guys writing programs. Well, this is a very good program. It's very fast and very reliable. And it ships with many Linux distributions just automatically. Um, not very much to say about this program other than it's very good. The third program I'm going to show you... Oh, and for Clamwin, the website is just... Clamwin, C L A M W I N dot com. The third program you've all probably heard of is Spybot Search and Destroy. It's another free antivirus. And uh, this is good because when anything tries to when anything tries to change registry values or anything, it'll warn you about it and ask whether you should let it or not. But you can whitelist programs that um, are gonna change uh, registry entries all the time, so that it so it won't bother you as much. The web for that one is safer-networking.org. My friend keeps messaging me. The next program is AdAware. You've all heard of this. You are all probably already using this. It's by the guys at LavaSoft, LavaSoftUSA.com. But it's free, and you can use it to scan your computer for AdAware. It has a very good database. Um, when you run it, it'll automatically update most of the time. But it's another good program. Plus, they've got this guy. I mean, how can you turn that face down? The next program I'm going to show you is called Sygate Personal Firewall. This is probably my favorite program out of the bunch. It's free to try. There's You can also buy it if you want. But, uh... This one is a firewall, and um, as you can see, the editor at 
Download.com loves it. Most users love it. But uh, whenever any program that you don't normally use, um, something you've just installed or anything, whenever it tries to access the internet, it'll warn you and let you choose whether to allow it or block it. So that's good. If anything tries to access your computer, you can allow it or block it. Um, this one, there, there's no website. This is one of the one of those two programs that I told you that were really good but came from one of the big companies. This one's by uh, Symantec, I think. Yeah, the guys who make Norton. But uh, just Google search Cygate and um, use the download.com one because that's a great site. The last program I'm going to show you is called McAfee Site Advisor. This is another commercial program that is free but is very good. It's a Firefox extension, so the website is siteadvisor.com. If you scroll down to the bottom right, there's going to be a big download Site Advisor Now button. It's a Firefox extension like I told you, but when you install it, it'll put a colored bar in the bottom right of your browser. What it does is, if you're at a trusted site, it'll be green. But if you're at a bad site, it'll be red. Um, I don't want to risk getting... Shh, my, my friend keeps... Oh, my God. Sorry. Um, but say you're at a bad site, it'll be red so you can get out of there fast. But one of the coolest features about it is that if you Google search something, let's say pandas... What it'll do is, in each entry, it'll put a little indicator of the safety of that site. If it's a check mark inside of a green circle, it's a safe site, perfectly safe. They found nothing wrong with it. But if you're... One of the entries has... Let's see, I just searched for key gens, which are generally questionably legal. But um, as you can see, most of them have X's inside of red circles. That means the site is not safe. Either it has a lot of pop-ups, or it links to viruses, or adware, whatever. A lot of pop-ups. Most of them are pop-ups. But uh, there you go. So that's another really, really neat little program. But those are pretty much all the programs you will ever need to protect your computer. Shut the f... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, those are the only six programs that you'll ever need. The real thanks for this video should, shouldn't should go to me, but should go to Jimmy R. That's Jimmy Ruska. His website's jimmyr.com. And if it weren't for him, I would have never found these programs. But it's Jimmy who deserves all the credit for this video. Well, there you go. That's how you protect your computer for free. And uh, thanks for watching.